Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this sparkly makeup look, which is perfect for a date night, Valentine's Day, and it will look beautiful with like a nude lipstick or a burgundy one. I think it's going to look so stunning. So before I go in with any eyeshadow, I always like to start with an eyeshadow primer. It just removes the redness of the eyelids and it will leave me with a nice clean canvas for my eyeshadow. Now, if you don't have an eyeshadow primer, you can also use a concealer. Just make sure that it's not too creamy so it's not going to crease on your eyelids. So after that, I set it with a little bit of powder just to make sure that it's locked in place. And then I will be going in today with a palette, which I think I haven't used before on my channel. But it's this palette from What's Up Beauty. Um, the packaging is really stunning. Um, and it has these beautiful shades into it, especially those shimmery colors. They just really grab my attention. Super pigmented. But before that, I really wanted to go in with a matte color first to blend that into my crease. Now, I do have to say, even though these shimmer eyeshadows in this palette, I think they're just incredible. I did have kind of a hard time with this shade. I'm not sure if it's just only this shade or all the matte shades will give me that same problem, but I felt like it looked kind of harsh into my eyelid. You can see it shows like these pores onto my eyelid, which normally never happens. But I did fix it. I just blend it as much as possible to make it look more soft, but I just wanted to clear that up that it did kind of give me a hard time. Um, but eventually it's gonna look good, thankfully. So after blending it, I went in with this color right here, which is just so freaking stunning. You can see how pigmented it is. And it, that's with all these shimmery shades in this palette. They're just so freaking gorgeous. Now I'm just using my finger to kind of smear it onto the eyelids. Um, I always like to use my fingers when it comes to a shimmery eyeshadow, just because it gives most color payoff, uh, most pigmentation. Um, so definitely just use your finger like that's totally fine and then I use the brush to kind of blend out the edges and make it more fade into the matte shades into my crease then I use the brow gel because I think I forgot that I'm not quite sure <laughs> then I went in with eyeliner now I am going in for I'm going for a wing liner today um, if you recreate this and you're not into like eyeliner in general or maybe not wing liner, of course, you can only do like a simple line above the lash line or you can skip the whole eyeliner part. That's totally optional. You don't have to follow each step that I'm doing. If there's something you don't like, you don't have to do it, of course. But I did receive some messages from people saying, do you really need to use like eyeliner every single time? Um, there are plenty of videos on my channel where I don't use eyeliner. Um, but I personally just really like eyeliner. That's just a personal preference. Um, and most of my videos I film before I'm going somewhere. So of course I want to look my best and I feel like eyeliner, it somehow looks best on me. So I always try to use an excuse to use a little bit of eyeliner. <laughs> So I'm going for a wing liner, like I said. Um, I used a combination of the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner and a eyeliner from um, Colourpop Cosmetics. So I use both of them. I feel like the Colourpop one, that's like a liquid liner pen, it's a bit easier to use, easier to create that sharp wing liner. And the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner is just super black and matte, which I love to use on top of other eyeliners to really make it as black as possible. So then after that, I cleaned up all the eyeshadow underneath the wing liner. And then I used that same color as I used in my crease also for underneath the lower lash line. So I'm just keeping it super simple. I only used one color in the crease, that same color underneath the lower lash line, and then one shade onto the eyelids. I will also be going in with a shimmery color for the inner corner of the eye. I'm just using one of my highlighters. It's optional, but I do personally really like it, but you can see it right here. It just pops. It just gives that little bit of pop in the inner corner, which I really like. But like I said, it's optional, but I really like it. And it only takes a few seconds. It's not like it makes this whole eye look so much more complicated. <laughs> so then I used some mascara. Um, I'm using the FanFest mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. And then after this, I will go in with some false lashes, um, but these are super natural. They are from the brand Maria Malki, and these are half lashes. I don't use half lashes very often, but for today's look, I thought it would be beautiful because I am la wearing lashes, but you can't really see it. It's just in a really subtle way. 
So yeah, this is the finished result. I am oh, I'm just in love with these sparkles on the eyelids. Love it. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day or date nights. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And of course, this way I know what kind of videos you guys like. Also, if you aren't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so if you do like these makeup tutorials. And yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.